my previous video, I started designing this flyer and this is where I got to. In this video, we are going to completely design by retouching the images and also add green tester like the Devon graphics. When we are done creating the tester, you don't need to create it from scratch anytime you design. I will show you how to use it as a preset on all your designs without stress. So without any further ado, let's get started. So you can check on my previous video and then watch how I started this whole thing to reach this point. I'll leave a link in the description for you to assess it easily. At this point, I just want to increase the images a bit so that we can continue from there. So right click on it and then you select so i have grouped them to image top that is uh, image top and then image down so these two image top these two image down so i'm gonna locate them image and then select image down and image top Control t and then i'm gonna enlarge it a bit Yeah, I think it looks good now. So what I have to do is to select the image down first. And now let me bring it up a bit. I'm using my arrow keys. And then also select the image top and then bring it down. And now select them again, Control T, and then transform it a bit. Now I think the images looks a bit dark. Let me add some kind of light to it. So let me enter the image so at this point i'm going to select the black and white and then add another adjustment layer called curves and with this one i'm just going to put this one up make sure that it is clip mask to this layer so we click on this part to clip mask it and then just adjust this part like so yeah i think something like this will do and now i'm going to copy it onto everything i mean onto the pictures so control J to copy and then bring it up onto this image top here. Make sure that it has been clip mask. So click on this part to clip mask it. Control J again to duplicate and I'll bring it down. That is open this one, the image down. And there's the layer. Bring it up like so. Make sure it is clip mask. So click on this and now control J again. Bring it up again. And now click on this one and then make sure it has a clip mask. Now what you're going to do next is to add the green texture and add this. Add the green texture. First of all, make sure that all the layers have been grouped into one file. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to press and hold on Control plus Shift plus Alt and then E. I'm going to get one layer that comprises of everything that you can see on the canvas. This is what I'm trying to make, as you can see. From here, what you have to do is that we right click on it and then we convert it to smart object. So after converting to smart object, rename it from layer 2 texture. So after renaming it, you come to this part and then you click on the foreground color and then you change it to this color. Like so. Click on OK and then the background color to you click on it and then you change it to somewhere like gold or yellowish color like so. Click on OK. When everything is set, all that you have to do is to go to filter and then you go to filter gallery okay so at this point as you can see i have them here already so i'm just going to delete them so that we start everything from scratch okay so when you come here what you have to do is that you click on any of this so let's say click on cutout and now for the cutout you come up here click on this part first thing that we are going to use is green so we click on the green and then you set your values so i'm going to use 25% of green and then 35 of the contrast. The green type is going to be regular. And I'm going to click on the plus sign here to add another layer on top. So we click on this part and then you go to half tone pattern. So with this half tone pattern, you're going to set a size to 5 and then a contrast to 15, like so. And then a pattern type to dots. We're going to add another one. So you click on this part and then you come up here and then you change the half tone to articulation. So we'll search for reticulation. Yeah, that's reticulation. And for the reticulation, we are going to take it from density 12 to let's say 13. And then the foreground level, we are going to keep it at around 8. And then the background level to let's keep it at 15. Something like that we do. We add some more layers to make it more detailed. So we come down here, click on the plus sign again, and then we change it to film green. So we come up here, click on this part, film green, like so. And with the film green, we're going to keep this one like 9 and then the highlight area to 13. 
the intensity to fall. And also, the last thing that we are going to add is texturizer. So we click on this one here to add another layer. Click on this part, scroll down. This is texturizer. Select it. And now we are going to keep everything here. The scaling 200 is good. The relief 5 is good. And then the light top is good. Don't click on this invert. Keep it like that. If you check the preview, you can see it for yourself. Let's click on OK. So after doing all that we did, you come up here, click on the blend mode, that is where the normal was, and then select soft light, like so. Now, let's zoom in and let me show you something. I don't know if you can see some kind of green on it. Yeah, so you can go inside by clicking on this filter gallery and change anything that you want to change, whether the green, whether the texturizer, whether the reticulation, you can change everything that you added, very simple. Now, after adding the smart filters, we have to import something else that is going to price it more. So we go to File, Place Embedded. Now, if you want to get access to this folder that contains a whole lot of textures, click on the first link in the description and then you are going to see a package that contains that. Mind you, the package do not contain just text, contains a whole lot of things like PSD files and all that. So you click on it and then check it by yourself. Okay, so for here, we are going to select one of these. So what I'm going to select is this one. You can select any of them that you think will work better for you. So control minus minus zoom out, then shift plus alt, and then we enlarge it like so. Position it well, click on the check mark. And now we are going to reduce the opacity from wherever it is to I think eight. Eight will do. So now let's zoom in. As you can see, there is some kind of details in the flyer. So we can change the texture and all that to your preference. Okay, so now, as I said earlier, I'm going to show you how you can just transfer this texture from one design to another. So maybe when you are designing something like this and then you don't want to paste what we created from scratch. All that you have to do is that open up like so. Select the last layer and then you press and hold on Control plus Shift plus Alt and then E. Now, what you do is that you right click on it and then you convert to smart objects. After combining everything, just come here to wherever you have the texture. So I will say this part. Let's select the first one, the layer that is 6, and then the texture itself. So press and hold on control and then select the texture. Now, control G to group them, name them texture. I will say texture effect. Now, when this one is selected, just drag it and then bring it on top of this one like so. You can see it here now when you come here open up and now click on this thing you can see an icon here so you press and hold on alt on the keyboard and then you click on that icon and then you bring it on this layer tray so after copying it on that make sure you delete that layer inside the group and now change the blend mode of this layer tray from normal to soft light so as you can see some kind of texture on it right now you can just reduce the opacity of everything that you added here you can reduce the opacity of this or you can go ahead and then reduce this one to like five so basically this is how you can transfer your texture from one design to another i launched an upgraded version of my resource pack for designers some few days ago this time around it contains chat flyer psd files business flyer psd files event flyer psd files all designed by myself and also premium mockups backgrounds texture and many others and one important thing is that i keep a updating the package with new resources as time goes on. A Hoopy 70% discount is still active, so use the first link in the description to get a package now. Until next time, quench not your creativity. Peace.